Okay, with this button meter, you can easily tell how much an appliance costs to operate. And in order to do that, you have to put in the cost per kilowatt first. Just press cost, hold it, and you see the blinking cost of kilowatt here. Then you press function, you scroll down here, 23 cents, minus 33 cents. Okay, so I enter 33. So that's it. Now, once you program the cost per kilowatt, you can plug this unit in the wall and then plug your appliance to the receptacle here. And after you use it, you can press function and it will tell you 20 cents. This is what it cost me to operate my dehydrator. Okay, uh, I use the dehydrator for nine hours, 52 minutes, 0.632 kilowatt. And the voltage and amp is not displayed when it is unplugged into the wall, but it tells you uh, during your appliance usage, the low wattage is 18 watts and the highest wattage consumed is 66.7 watts. And then your um, cost of the electricity in your area, which I just inputted, was 33 cents. So the cost for using the appliance is 20 cents. So how did I come to 33 cents when uh, they tell you it's 13 or 14 cents per kilowatt, but that doesn't include the supply charge. Um, so when you add up the supply charge, delivery charge and taxes, it comes to 33 cents. So that's what I use. So um, you can still calculate the cost uh, if your kilowatt wasn't input into the unit. Uh, you can still adjust that, but it would be better to input the cost per kilowatt first. Then you don't have to set it up again. You just use that as a default. So that's how you use this unit here because a lot of times when an appliance says it's 100 watts it doesn't always use 100 watts in my case the, the, the dehydrator has a label on it saying it will use 96 watts but mm -hmm. in actuality it, it used only 66 watts maximum and for the duration of the usage it costs uh, 20 cents.